when you need nuts, you go to nuts.com. <laughs> so we are here at the Justin Beaver build. We are pulling up to the wildlife sanctuary where we're gonna be building a pond over the next two days. So we have never been here. We saw this on the Dodo. I'm quite excited to meet Justin Beaver. When they said they put out the APB that they were looking for a pond for this rescue beaver, I contacted them and here we are today. All right, so this is our actual first time on the site where we're gonna build. That has designed a pretty incredible design. Now we just gotta figure out where to put this pond. I'm the pond guy. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet so you glad too. you guys are here, this is awesome. And so how excited are you? Oh my gosh, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, JD. I and he doesn't even know. JB does, doesn't even I'm know that he's about to get him. his Christmas and birthday all in one. I'm telling him, and you know, he's just asking to stay inside, but uh, he doesn't know how good this is going to be. <laughs> this is like going from Motel 6 to the Hilton. I was kind of thinking this is a natural slope. You yep. said that you had a waterfall yep. plan. We, we want Justin Bieber to dam it up. That's the whole point. <laughs> yes, yes, he loves his dams, <laughs> and he's damn good at it too. All right, so what do you got here, Ed? Pump fault and everything is gonna be right here in this corner. The concern is what Joe and I were talking about is JB kind of damming that up. Right. So we're gonna have aqua blocks down all the way in the bottom and the deepest area below. to pull from above and below, kind of do yeah. a little bit of a combination. If we have time, we'd love to try to figure out a little beaver den over in here for him. The, the first ever time we've designed a beaver den. Never done it before and that's what's exciting for us is so day one this is what it looks like day two we're gonna see you tomorrow and it's day two and we have our certified aquascape contractor group here <laughs> it's a little early yesterday we came in we excavated everything out just kind of got some rough uh, excavations here so we have our wetland filter up in here this is going to give us the water quality that we're looking for we're gonna have a little stream that's gonna connect from here down into the main pond. The challenge with this is beavers are gonna create dams. If he dams up a part of the stream, the water level is gonna raise up. So what we wanna do here is we wanna create an area that once he dams it, the water is gonna raise up and it's gonna flow over into a drainage system. So we're gonna have like weeping areas for all that excess water to continue its way back down into our pond. Normally we would have a skimmer on a project. I've done some projects where we had beavers come in and they would dam up our intake. So what we want to do here is we're going to have our pump vaults tucked over in the corner. And what we're doing is creating more of a wet well. So it's not going to work as well for leaf debris and stuff like that. But if we were to do a traditional skimmer system, he would block it off and it would cause trouble. So again, it's very similar to our standard construction, but we have a few little things that we have to modify in order to make it beaver proof, basically. That's a first. <laughs> Listen, yes, we've is. been doing this for 27 years <laughs> and this is the first time we've ever tried to figure out how to outsmart a beaver. Yep. Who's smarter, Ed or the beaver? Yeah, I'm gonna say the beaver. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't wanna say that. You guys ready to get started? Excellent. All right, let's go. <laughs> All business is, is overcoming problems. First we get into the septic, next we get the delivery truck stuck, so we had to deliver the rock here instead of down there. You think we can bring the next load in, clear out this area here and get him to drive back down that side? Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't think he can get down through that ditch, I think we can pull him out with the escalator if he got stuck. That's right. Gotta try it, right? Right. <laughs> Look at how cool that is. Well, this is a wildlife place. 
This is a beautiful facility. It's new, right? It's new for us. It's not new in general. We acquired this property thanks to a donor, Sam Swope Family Foundation. Uh, we have 23 acres in Mount Washington, Kentucky, and we have a building that is just dedicated for our animal rescue and medical um, side of things. And then we have an on-site classroom, so kids can come here to learn about the importance of wildlife, environmental issues, climate change, specific species information. There was nobody in our community offering these services for local wildlife. Um, lots of cats, lots of dog groups, but nobody for wildlife. So I thought that I needed to change that. And I did pretty quickly. Started off receiving about 50 phone calls each year. We're up to well over 3,000 phone calls each year. So people are learning that we're around. They're learning that they should not be trying to take care or keep wildlife on their own. It's illegal and it uh, poses all sorts of potential dangers. Justin Bieber, or affectionately known as JB to us, he came in as just a little, little baby. He ended up going to another rehabilitator who had him for a month and decided that beavers are way too high maintenance for her to take care of so I offered to commit to take care of JB for the remainder of his life he serves an excellent purpose very important purpose to teach people tolerance and uh, coexisting with wildlife JB was just a straight little orphan that ended up with us and we've had him a little over a year and a half now I sincerely sincerely appreciate you guys being here I told Greg the other day people call him the pond guy I call him my pond fairy because we would not have been able to do this project without him without the offering of his talented services all of you all are making this so possible for this lucky lucky beaver and second chances wildlife center Yay. And all sorts of second I, swag in there and even pictures of JB I'm gonna have a lot of friends tonight at the hotel <laughs> It's 11.50 in the morning, so three hours and 50 minutes later, we probably got 10 tons of boulders in here. We got about 15 total that we're gonna put in. Every square inch of this liner is covered with concrete cloth. So this is actually embedded with concrete, this cloth, so as soon as it gets wet, it'll be cement-like. And then Joey, he'll demonstrate, he's gonna climb through the hole right now. That's impressive. He's going. Yeah, he's going. he can do it. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Nice. <laughs> so if Joey can do it, the beaver can do it. So what we have is we have our concrete cloth going over everything, but we have two liners in place. So we have the main liner coming up from under our pond. This is going to actually get cut back. So the idea is if the beaver makes a dam in here, the water level normally is going to be here. If the water level raises up, it's going to come into here and go into our aqua box and go down. Our main liner is well above that, so this is going to allow us to take any of that excess water away without causing any leaks. So that water is just going to slowly infiltrate through all these areas, and he will not be able to figure out exactly where that water is going to go. So we think. We think. We think. <laughs> We will find out. <laughs> we are about to meet Justin Beaver for the first time. So right now, Arnie the Armadillo is out. So I will put Arnie away and get JB back out. Here he comes. Oh yes, there's an armadillo. Hi Justin. <gasps> oh, there's Justin. You are one lucky beaver. You don't even know it right now, but you are one lucky beaver. Come on, JB. <laughs> Oh, that is hilarious. He's literally going from one person to the other person to the other person. Checking him out. Who are all these people? They came just for you. They came just to build you a pond. Yes. It'll take a while. I mean, this is his comfort area. 
Okay, so we're ready to take him back and he has no idea what he's about to experience. It's a 25 pound beaver. First time I've ever carried a beaver. Close your eyes. I got I'm you, don't worry. You. I got you, don't worry. You're good, you're good. I'm not looking. Don't look, don't look. Don't show me that black bucket full of and rainwater. Here you go. <gasps> I hear it. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Wow, you guys met business. <laughs> wow, he is gonna love this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Come on, here, Bobby. Come on, Will he be like a fish in water? <laughs> oh, it's okay. He, he is, he's nervous. Come on. Can you see what's in here? Baby. He might like that spot. Oh, there we go. Good job, baby. <laughs> Come on. Well, that's a spot. That's a spot for me. Come on, baby. Right now. What a spoiled little turd. It's ridiculous. Right? Oh, <laughs> you can come back tomorrow. So from the first time that we saw this and you were trying to raise funds to get this, I said yes. this is absolutely a perfect project for the certified aquascape cottagers. I've been working with Ed for 25 years. And this is the very first time that he ever designed a beaver pond. And the question now is gonna be, can we outsmart the beaver? <laughs> so far, he looks like he absolutely loves it. And I'm gonna have to say, I thought he'd be a little bit more nervous getting in, but clearly this just feels natural to him. It's where he's supposed to be. Awesome. This has exceeded my expectations of what we ever thought we could afford because we could not have afforded anything like this. So if you had not come in, stepped in with your whole incredible crew, he just would not have this life of luxury. This is beyond what I had even dreamed that we could have. For so. 10 years, you've dedicated your life to wildlife. So for us to be able to use our talent as certified aquascape conditors and create something like this for you, it's truly a blessing. This was a labor of love, but we are so absolutely thrilled to do this. So best of luck. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Greg. How about a you hand for awesome. the woman who's dedicated her life to this guy? So this is what the certified aquascape cottagers are all about. We came together, we had never done something like this before. We, in one and a half days, we got done the first ever aquascape beaver pond. And we're trying to showcase what ponds done right, customers served right looks like. And this is a classic example of that. <laughs> 